Hey everyone, today we're talking about the bonus bank in Godzilla Battleline and do I think it is worth the grind or not? One of the earliest videos on this channel is about the very same thing, but back then the bonus bank only gave you a max of like 15,000 coins or something like that, something really like insignificant, so wasn't worth it back then, is it worth it now to grind it out, to max it out? So for those of you who are not aware, the bonus bank activates on your Godzilla pass when you've completed every single possible tier during a season. Now there's 50 tiers every season. And once you look at, you see how instead of the slotted on the bottom by the battle pass, it's just a full bar. Once you complete all the tiers, you have access to the bonus bank. Now the bonus bank will grant you G tokens in exchange for the Godzilla pass points that normally would be going towards upgrading your levels in the pass. Since there's no levels in the pass, it's going to go into the bonus bank. So you will receive 1,000 G tokens in the bonus bank for every 35 Godzilla pass points you earn. G tokens in your bonus bank will be obtained at the end of the season. So when the season changes over and you get your season rewards, you're going to get whatever gold you put into this back out, right? Is this worth the grind for a maximum of 50,000? Well, how many days are left in the pass? As I'm making this video... There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a week. If if the season starts on August 30th, there's seven days. If the season goes into maintenance on August 30th into the 31st, then there's eight days, uh, I believe. So you have about a week, a little under, a little over, depending. You have about a week to fill this out, right? What would you need to do? What lengths of grinding would you have to do to fill this whole thing out? So I did a little bit of math. I could, I'm pretty sure I'm right on the math. Could be wrong. Math's not my strong suit, but I think I got it. Right, I think I nailed this one, so. Okay. There is a possible reward of 50,000 total coins, and for every 1,000 coins, it is equal to 35 Godzilla points. You would need a total of 1,750 Godzilla pass points to max out the map or the bonus bank, I'm sorry, for 50,000 points. You would need, you earn, you know, 1,000 coins for every 35 wins. You have a week to get this done. You're going to need to earn around 250 points per day. On average, you are going to be gaining three battle pass points per win. If you lose, you're going to be gaining one. But if your expeditions are full, like here, mine aren't full, but if you have all six of your expeditions full and you can't earn any more, then you're going to be able to gain bonus Godzilla pass points, right? So you will be able to earn an average of three if you have all of those filled out, which I recommend if you're going to fill out the bonus bank, you should have maxed out maps. Uh, it's going to take you like 83 or 84 battles a day before from when the bonus bank goes live for the first day to season's end to max this out. So in between, for those 83 or 84 battles every day, if you average like maybe 300 gold per battle, maybe even less, right? But you have like the multiplier, the gold multiplier from studio mode and stuff like that. You're probably going to earn somewhere in the ballpark between 15,000 and 20,000. I had an itch. 15 to 20,000 um, gold coins a day anyway if you're doing all of those battles. So if you're earning about 15 to 20,000 tokens every day for a week you are going to outshine the bonus bank by a crazy margin right after three days you're going to surpass what the bonus bank could possibly give you in terms of gold you're not going to have completed the bank but you're going to have earned already by doing like what would that end up being like 200 and something battles more gold by my calculations the gold calculations could be wrong but the amount of points it's going to take to complete the pass that's not wrong, right? So, do I think it's worth going in, going as hard as you can for the bank? Personally, I think if you're really strapped for cash or strapped for gold and you have the time to grind out all of these battles, if you're like a serious, serious grinder anyway, then this shouldn't matter. If you're going for number one in the, in the leaderboards or something like that, and you're trying to put in like hella games, you're trying to get in the top 100, you're putting in like hella games every day, trying to crank up your rank, then you're going to you're gonna either max out the bonus bank anyway or get really close to it. So I think if you're just a massive grinder regardless, 
then this is going to benefit you, right? It's going to help you. But if you're not a grinder and you want that 50,000 coins, you are going to need to put in a lot of work. And you are most likely going to lose more games than you win. You know, the more games you win, the higher you're going to go. The more difficult opponents you're going to be facing, people like me, people like Bowers, people like Administration 1, Hulk, Stag, the usual group of people in the top, right? Even the number one guy right now, he's like crazy. I can't, I don't know his name. It's in Japanese. I think it's like crack. There's like comics and all of them. The more you win, the more powerful enemies you're going to be fighting, the more you're going to end up losing to them. You could lose your way up through this bonus bank and gain like one point per loss if you just keep giving up over and over and over and over again, but that's going to take you insanely long to get this done. Do I think the money that you get, max the maximum amount of money, the 50,000 coins is worth all the work it's going to take to get the bonus bank up? Not really. I think that... It, it, it is so much effort to get that 50,000 that by the time you hit that max rank, you will have already surpassed it by a ridiculous margin. I, I still, it, it is a lot of gold and bonus gold is bonus gold. So I'm not going to complain what I'm going to do. And what I always do with the bonus bank is I just play the game like I normally would. I do my battles every day. You know, I get my maps and stuff like that. And I just grind regularly and whatever gold I end up with in the bonus bank is whatever I end up with, right? But if you are really planning on grinding or getting your player rank up or you're a new player and you're trying to work your way up through the ranks, this is going to be beneficial to you. I personally don't really care for the 50,000 coin maximum. That is a lot of effort to put in. What is it? If, if I said it was, what, 83 battles a day that you would have to do over seven days, I don't even know what that is. Let me let me put that in the calculator. So we'll do 83 times 7. That's like 581 battles that is an, an insane number so if you're if you're already one of the people that have like i don't know like like 12,000 wins in the arena like go for it go nuts but like the average person is not going to come close to maxing out the bonus bank which is the intention of the bonus bank you're just going to get whatever you're going to end up with do i think the juice is worth the squeeze no i think for 500 battles you'll probably earn close to that amount of gold anyway or if not, completely surpass it. But um, if it's worth it to you, it's worth it to you. I personally don't think it's worth it. Uh, I'm j I just gonna keep playing the game like normal, and as time goes, time goes, and I'm gonna get the gold that I get. And if uh, if I miss out on thirty thousand gold from the bonus bank, I'm not gonna complain about it. Uh, but if you want it, you gotta hit the floor running because it is going to take you a lot, a lot of grinding to max this out. So that's my soapbox for the day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.